Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. And tonight I want to show you something. Now, I've been really getting into antique perfume bottles lately. I can't help myself. Um, anytime I see a beautiful glass or porcelain bottle or even metal or, well, I, ha I don't even have any metal or sterling silver ones, you know, all sterling silver ones in my collection yet. But any one of those, I have to have it. So what this is, is probably about from 1870 to about 1890. This is a scent bottle. It also, there was many different uh, uses for this. It could be a perfume bottle, a scent bottle, or a smelling salt or vinaigrette bottle. And um, a lot of times ladies always had this with them. They always had to have a perfume bottle with them. The reason being is because ladies were prone to fainting and smelling bad back in the Victorian era. So pretty much, if you think about it, you have no running water, no hot water system. If you're going to take a bath, it's going to be either cold. It's going to be either kettle water that you spend, you know, a long time heating up uh, loads of kettles of water um, and throw it into a bathtub or you're not going to take a bath at all. And so people pretty much smelled awful and rancid. So ladies constantly dabbed themselves with perfume just so they wouldn't smell like crap. And <laughs> another thing, ladies were constantly wearing so many layers of clothing and um, the corset, which was like a straight jacket, which um, they had their ribs actually pulled in so tight that they couldn't let out enough air to exhale or to pull enough air in to breathe and they would faint and pass out. So they would put something filled with, um, actually like something filled into the glass bottles or these little bottles that was mixed with ammonia and there was some kind of salt that actually would revive a lady. Now this particular one is cool. Now some of them um, actually affixed to a lady's belt. So if she was a uh, uh, wearing a dress with something called a chatelaine. It was like a hook, a chatelaine hook. This would be affixed to her waist. This particular one is a finger ring. So a lady would walk around and just keep it on her finger like it was like a ring. Now, Victorian ladies were what? Uh, much smaller and petite than the ladies in America, especially. And so this ring would actually probably have fit a lady properly. <laughs> me it only goes like halfway if I push it down like just where the knuckle is so that's how dainty and tiny ladies were back then now this particular one I presume is bohemian or from the Czech Republic or French or um, possibly Venetian it could be Italian you could see um, it's beautifully gilded um, it has a little pattern it looks like flowers this is hand-blown glass it's almost like a yellowish color or a golden lemon color. And the color is just exquisite. The top has a beautiful pattern. This looks like it could be made of brass. Let me actually pop the top open and show you what it looks like with the little cork stopper. Well, it's actually some of them were made out of cork. Some of them were made out of glass. This one is made out of glass. Let me show it to you. Hang in there one second. Okay. So I got it open. I couldn't do it with one hand and film with the other. So you can see that little glass stopper. I'm not going to attempt to take it out right now because I'm afraid I'm going to either drop it on the floor and it's going to shatter into a million pieces and I'll lose it forever or that it's probably stuck in there and I don't want to force it. But uh, as you can see, I mean, look at this, guys. This is beautiful. So if you were a Victorian lady, you wouldn't be caught dead without one of these bottles. This was like actually something that you had to have. <laughs> you had to have it to revive you if you were going to faint. And you had to have it with you just so you wouldn't stink like a barnyard animal. Because they really did stink, the Victorians. The Victorians were filthy, filthy people. Um, you know, you see romantic, like um, old paintings from the time. You see um, what appears to be such beautiful clothing and beautiful art and beautiful architecture. And just all sorts of beauty. But the Victorians were just absolutely filthy animals. <laughs> Again, they didn't have uh, the things that we have today that we take for granted. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. And I'll show you some more pretty cool Victorian and antique items.